Good evening, my name is the Fat One, Skull Dust Bowl Plus EU with Alarm Copter. Hello. And yeah, okay, standard rules apply. If you want to hear sounds of our voices, please go to the main menu. Uh, go to the ear with the extra, that's the mute button. And you can pick our names on the list and say mutant game volume, and that'll shut us up real quick. Anyway, today we're in our Dust Bowl. I mean, let's have a look at teams at the moment. Actually, one thing's immediately, you know, hitting me is who is spell so sexy? Because that's seven doms under a belt already. That's looking pretty, you know, formidable right there. To be honest, just looking at the points as a whole, everybody seems to be pretty good on this server. Obviously, you know, points don't mean everything, but they definitely equate to something, and Blue are definitely owning that towards the top end of the board. Yeah, we've got some long-term players here. I mean, seriously, the 200 guys must be playing on the toilet while doing this, the amount of time to be spending it in those points. <laughs> <laughs> Doors open, and well, there's that there's a blue, red uber instantly. Now, I'm not, I'm not keen of instant red ubers there. You really wait for the, you know, the blue ones to come out first. Yeah, I mean, it kind of works if it's a blue uber, just especially with the amount of sort of hearth that you kind of get on first point, just to just sort of get yourself out of the... Uh, spawn really, but as it is, you know, it didn't really make any difference for Red to do that. Yeah, no, to be fair, I mean, look at, look at the spam here. Oh, wow, that, that sort of a sort of little bit of a blue uber coming up the top there, and it didn't really go anywhere, and all the spam is going in. <laughs> Seriously, Red have got this locked up tight. I think Chastity is about to more give than this. <laughs> I think it's 3 minutes 40, it's not a great amount of time, but it's... something could happen. But you know, this is where you really need medics on a team and to be prepped by the door opening. This is where you're going to start losing all your time. Yeah, really, I think, to be honest, at this sort of point, it'd be kind of ideal to have, you know, maybe an Ubered Pyro just to blast people out of the way and possibly have an NG with the short circuit just bringing up the rear, basically just to do cleanup duty and have everybody else follow you after that. Yeah, that's the thing, I mean, a pyro, I mean, for me, pyro is a great one for this start, top bit area. You just move out, you've got 100% speed, just puff, 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 out the way, get areas coming behind you. But the thing is, right, with this, I mean, this is a map with strange, you can get stuck really easily, or well, the first one going really fast, it's weird for that reason. <coughs> But yeah, I mean, for now, the blue team's not, it's not looking good for blue team. They need to build the Azubas, though. Yeah, I think really part of the problem is that, <clears throat> from Red's point of view, if you're chucking, you know, grenades and, you know, stickies and stuff down there, it's to the point where you can kind of get people instantly as they respawn, just because of the design of the map. And, you know, you know that's a, that's a failing on the map more than a failing on the... Um, on the uh, blue team. Yeah, well, they got a new about there. Okay, blue are trying to make, make a break for it now. Now, this, this is the break blue needs. They need a stream out there, and oh, there's the crockets. Uh, they, they almost had something. But this is where, you know, they ubered a heavy, and it didn't. Whoa, what's this? Okay, that was a bit of fun. Qua, they're nearly capping the game. Uh, first point there, that would have been funny as hell. But here's the thing, the red, blue are now breaking their way out here. They, they need to get a push up though. They've, they've, they've broken the stalemate, they just need to make sure they keep the door open now. Oh, I'm liking Septic over there. He literally just charged and charged his way out using a sticky launcher as well. He's just like, nope, I need to get out. Getting out now. What do you think, man? Minute on the clock. Do you think they're going to do this? Um, well, I mean, uh, the nature of this map is just the fact that once you have first, it's, you know, a fairly good assumption to assume that the uh, second point is going to go as well, but, you know, Red have taken up a hell of a lot of time, and I don't know, it does seem like Blue are finally pulling their way out, but with a minute left, they kind of have to, you know, leave it all on the last amount of m time that they've been given here. Five minutes, twenty, though, it's a generous amount, considering what they had before, but yeah, I mean... I think with Blue now, they've really got to try and overturn the defence as quickly as they can because they have another boxing situation like that, it's curtains. But I have to say though, you know, Blue team, they are getting, they, if they finally realise, once they got that blockade out of the way, they really went for it. Now, you know, it's good to see. Five minutes left in the and yeah, Billy the Kid there has got it the right idea. Get 
get it before they build things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for me, that, those are some of the best games. I just best rush games. I love those kind of games. You basically get in there before they can do anything, and it's just that kind of game where you basically kick him in the shin on the floor, then you kick him in the face afterwards. That's pretty much game over. <laughs> Yeah, although that said, I would have really liked it if we had, you know, if Quir had managed to cap the first point. It really would have cap, uh, managed to get Red with their trousers down because you know, they were so, so close to the spawn doors as it was. Yeah, that I love that kind of thing. Sneaky scout strategy is always fun. I mean, it's much better on the standard cap maps because, you know, it's more built for that kind of thing. The standard attack maps, not so much. Or the you know, attack defense maps. How is Formulus on the clock? Blue again in a situation where they're not really pushing out. I mean, they need those Ubers again. Oh, I'm seeing them um, pogues there. Haven't oh no, he's, he's not looking good. Yeah, now he went out there with only 13% on the Uber charge there, and I'm not sure what he's doing with that. He just set it, held back. Built up his Uber charge and then went in with that. You can't, you need, no point going with half charge. Should also note, really, <laughs> in regards to blue playing, it's really, really important that you have teammates that know how this door towards the top works because so many people walk out and then think they can get back in. Um, oh, if you've God. got someone on the other side, sort of, to look after that door, then it's really, really handy. Yeah, I mean, we saw sort of just. I mean, that's the, th uh, that's the thing, I always find it funny, I mean, it's part of that, like, uh, demotivational um, achievement. Don't let the angry pyro in, you know. Wh why did you open the door? Now they got in! The thing is, oh, we saw there before, though, that Uber went in. Nothing really happened with that, I'm not sure what happened with that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any of the Ubers so far this game have... <laughs> they haven't really amounted to anything. They've, you know, Blue managed to pull one off, kind of just to get out of the door, but... You know, that's all they've really done so far. That was, the, <laughs> at the most, the best one. Oh, well, and Jamal Boy there gets in there and just starts bugging up engineer equipment. That's nice work there. Things we haven't seen a real good blue push yet. They're not really attacking in waves. They're kind of attacking in dribs and grabs, and maybe one or two guys and a medic and an Uber. <coughs> you know, they're, they're kind of trickling in. Not yeah, the thing you don't like. Yeah, I think... Really, the problem is they've managed to sort of find themselves a good front line, but they're all just hovering rather than moving forward. They, they're they stuck on their front line without doing anything with it. Yeah, as well, it's the kind of thing I'd call dispenser hugging. They're not really moving in. There goes the Ubers. Can they push with this now? Go, go, go! Look at the heavy. Look at the heavy. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of miniguns. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of minigun firepower. One plucky engineer attempts to say, "Oh my God, did I actually stop that?" I thought that was be curtains there, but you know, somehow Red pulled it back. That said, though, I mean, that opened up very nicely for Blue, and there we go. Yeah, that was nicely done. That just killed enough stuff that the rest team side of wobbling afterwards and take that nicely done. Okay, round two. Let's see what's going on with the teams here. Well, Red have taken a few casualties here, and there was you know, quite a few spectators in the slots for the moment. But you know, Red, in my opinion. They've only kind of slipped up once or twice. Now, here's the thing. If they were on form, I think they would have had that game easy. But I think they had some Ubers or maybe Medicare up their, up their sleeve. They might have just been able to hold that. But to be fair, that first map is a bit easy for Blue. Yeah, I mean, generally with any sort of attack defense map, I always tend to think that Red have the harder time for the most part. But, you know, that, that first point was very, very nicely done on Red's side of things you know the fact that they managed to keep it going for just that long is a testament to how good of the, good the players actually are yeah the problem is though blue are the most dangerous tf2 players the learning tf2 players i mean they, they threw he three heavies out with ubers how much more push did you need <laughs> uh, doors open there goes that front door uber again and this is the thing we're not seeing that blue uber until now. Okay, there's a fire. There's a spell again. And, oh, a nice di diversion there. Oh, wow. He actually managed to get a lot of stuff done there, but unfortunately there was a lot of medics and demo, demo men everywhere. He, and he's playing Degrees the Pyro. 
you want to get into that kind of shenanigans, you really flawed your back burner. Well, the standard power is good. I have to say, actually, yeah, speaking of Demoman, it seems that both sides of the battlefield are pretty much dominated by them. There's, you know, there's pretty much grenades and stickies flying left, right, and center. Yeah, there's a lot of spam going on, but that's what the short circuit is for. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't think the short circuit's broken. I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's a great way to get past sticky spam. If you're going to be an engineer and you've got nothing better to do that hurt, <laughs> no, no more stickies. <laughs> No, seriously, third point, you're playing on blue. Just have a, just have one of those engines run around the corner and make sure those crit stickies don't happen. <laughs> what I am saying though, blue's looking a little boxed in again. Not sure what's happening to this team. It just seems as if most of the time they end up being boxed in bit in and around. I think to be honest, it might kind of just be nerves on blue side of things. Um you know, Red aren't particularly making any massive attacks or anything like that. I think it's just Blue is too afraid to run out into the spam. No good teams, what's going on here? I mean, look at he's balanced. There goes the Red Uber in again. Going for the sentry. They send in a soldier though, and that's the thing. For me, I always find with soldiers, not enough firepower. They just can't take down sentries. Yeah, really, as it is, when you're near a point, you kind of want a demo man or a heavy at the least, you know, a demo man, even if they run out of uber, they've still got a contingency plan of just spamming the doorway. Yep. Well, here come the heavies, they're trying to break out again. This is the thing though, we've seen kind of people getting stuck in that um, gutter area. Don't stand there, that's a complete demo trap. All, all, all the nature roll down there. But we've seen the heavies trying to move out, but the team's just not pushing up with them though. It's 3 minutes 29, I mean, I don't know what Blue needs to do here, but they need to get kind of out and moving. Although we are seeing... Well, no, you go first. Yeah, I think we are seeing some a bit of push going on here, but they're kind of... This is the thing, we're not seeing enthusiastic pushing here. We're kind of seeing squirmishing, I would say. I think part of the problem from uh, the Ubers that Blue have managed to throw out is that it's all been medics relying on the heavies walking first and you know the heavies are kind of just soaking up everything and being pushed back and not being able to move you really need the medic to run forward first Ooh, saying that though James there no, capping a bit that can might panic him somewhat but yeah I mean look at blue though they're really kind of getting boxed in I mean two minutes 30 again can they can they save this game again I mean this is looking a lot like first point all over. Hmm. No, I think this is the thing we were saying, we were saying, I was saying before. Red are a very good team, and I think occasionally they just slip up and Blue just take the chances. Yeah, although as it is this time round, it's a lot harder to try and get onto that point. It's a lot more out in the open. There's nowhere to sort of protect yourself or anything like that, and <laughs> you know. They're sort of less viable options for getting out because you've got to go through the same route either way, which is that, you know, bottom ditch area. I would say that though, 1551A is that on the point there, he is creating a panic. 1 minute 50, are Blue going to push this now? Oh, there goes another. Wow, that's one thing I say, Red are beginning to use their Ubers. And, you know, it's paying in dividends. I mean, here's the thing that why isn't Blue getting on the point, I don't know. I mean, are they getting stuck? 153, oh, and Septico! Septico fell off! <laughs> How did you fall off? Oh, come on! Right, they need to start capping, there you go. Oh, it's Blue Sky. Oh, God, Blue are getting slaughtered. This is the thing, I've seen Blue kind of get there, but they're not really getting there fast enough. Yeah, they had a really good window of opportunity then, but I think Red have managed to pretty much all respawn, and yeah, unfortunately, I think their best chance probably has disappeared now. 54 seconds though, so this is going to be a tight game. Oh, oh, <laughs> Septico just he gives them a breath of life. Five minutes again, what is this team and leaving it to the bare last minute? <laughs> but now Blue need to start moving up again, if they can push quick they might better get past the defences. 
But this is the thing with this red team though, they are just always seem prepared. I mean, the thing I'm seeing with this red team, they are, they, it looks really hard to fool them. You know, you know what I mean by that? Yeah, well I mean, pretty much, especially the demo man and uh, Blue Sky in particular, has pretty much managed every single time to land pipes and land stickies in decent places and, you know, it's not just him that's doing it as well. Um, who else is there? Um, Hero 07 as well, doing really nice demo work and obviously every other player as well has been doing pretty nice. Evil Melon as well, very good medic player as well. That's the thing, we've seen a lot of good players today. It's always nice to see that kind of thing going on. Things may be a little unevenly distributed. We've seen, I think the skill has kind of shifted more, you know, red side of the bench here, but Blue is still able to put up the fight. And to be fair, if, it was, if we were seeing average teams like we normally do in our commentaries, Blue team would be still a very good team comparatively. It's just up against a really good team today. <laughs> Mad Boar. I look at Mad Boar for the time being. He's doing a nice bit of vanguard, uh, rearguard work actually. He's going to make it really difficult to take that passage. The thing I'm seeing for the time being that Red are playing that game of keeping blue in the tunnels, and that's a nice way to go. It, you know, for it, that's a, it's really hard to get through that. Nice choke points, you know. Yeah, I think with the amount of sort of explosive classes that they've got, <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty ideal solution. Just you know, make sure that everybody's in a choke. Ooh, and what's this? Oh, scout on the point. Somebody's trying to hit the back end here. Now that's a, that's what I like to see though. You got scouts running for the back end, trying to panic the red defenses. They might start tumbling back, and that's always good. That's the point. That's the thing they need to do actually. If red are going to fight all the way up to blue's front line. Making them panic a bit and come backwards might be the thing you need to be doing. Mm, I think part of the problem is um, on that last point. What is his name? Uh, JSSCRT double two. He's only got a mini up. Yeah, no. Nah, even Scout could take that down. Yeah, we're back to the actual commentary. And sometimes we have to say stuff that you know on the camera, which you guys can't hear about. It's part of the fun. <laughs> Actually, for the time being, I'm looking red though. They are really just pushing blue back. You know, this is looking critical again. I think red might finally have his game. Uh, but it's just blue. I don't know. They just can't seem to get through the amount of reds there are. And the thing is, it you know, it's not like last time round where there was any sort of problem in terms of you know numbers moving up. You know, red are doing a fantastic job of uh, blue even are doing a fantastic job of keeping themselves together and maintaining a really good consistent line but you know Reddit just managing to pick them off one by one and it slowly sort of you know just breaks their attack well the one thing I'm seeing here blue the thing I'm thinking of blue for the time being they're a bit squirmish they're not moving in with no enemy they're kind of waiting around seeing what's going on scoping it rather than moving in in that time you can take up all that ground and kind of fight a forward area I mean for I mean, they had a good attack there. Fired a few, few critical rockets and nades and whatnot. Actually, took a lot of red team, but they didn't take the opportunity to move up in that time. I don't know if you saw that as well, but uh, in the uh, right-hand tunnel, from a uh, red's point of view, uh, Blue Sky managed to take out two medics there, both pretty much ready to throw out Ubers as well. I think there was one full Uber and one that was, you know, maybe two or three seconds away from building. So, oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. You made it. You go stay away from the front line. All the good players will start shooting you. I mean, I know I'm the kind of guy who sees medic kill him, kill him hard. I don't care. There's two heavies in my way. Kill that guy first. Yeah, well, I, I always live by the philosophy. If you are a sort of a like I sort of a, as I like to think a skinny class, like one of the a sniper, a spy, or a scout. If you can kill a medic, even if you get killed by yourself, there, or if you, even if you get killed yourself, it's worth doing. Whoa, Septico there takes the point by half, and that, wow, that nearly caved the game there. Oh, sorry, Mad Boy, Emma, it missed that. If you want to, you know, not hear us, please, you know, go to the main menu and just mute us from there. That'll shut up real quick. You know, those controls are there for a reason. It's, you know, really easy to use and all that. 24 seconds, I mean, Septico there nearly took the game. But... Yeah, Red are just defending way too well here. <laughs> oh, F4 to bring out the mute menu. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't listen to James. 
Uh, he he's got good, good intentions. Uh, well, no, bad intentions. It has the same result, but not really. But anyway, look, Red there just wins that game expertly defended. That was excellently done. 